Hello everybody, Tim Gilbrick here. I have another simple, easy acoustic chord progression for you. So let's take a look. So I'm going to play it a couple times through and then we'll break it down for you. Alright, just a couple chords, but it's really fun. It's kind of an upbeat uh, chord progression. It's actually used in a popular song. It's on the top 10 on iTunes. It's really not my normal genre of music, but it's got a real catchy, uh, upbeat feel. So I wanted to learn the chord progression, and I'm going to show it to you. All right, so let's break down the chords for you. The four chords used in this progression are E minor, C, G, and D. And the hit song on the radio, they've got a capo, uh, a capo brings your pitch up and it's on the second fret. But the beauty, these chords are used in thousands of songs. And if you want to see the chords up close and personal for free, go to nextlevelguitar.com. There's several minute videos there where you can look at the E minor, the C, the G, and the D if you're really new. Okay, so let's talk about the strum pattern to start. And what it is... The way I break this uh, strum pattern down for you is, is two different ways and whatever works for you. But what I'm going to do is start off on the E minor and go down, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the up, then you're going to change to the next chord. Now you could use a strum pattern on any series of chords. That's what's great about learning these different strum patterns and techniques because you can apply them towards Maybe there's a chord progression or song or style of music that you like, but you can use the pattern on anything. So again, it's down, down, up, down, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Now on the up, that's when you want to change. Change to change your chord. So we're going to go down, down, up, down, down, ups to the C. Down, down, up, down, down, change. Or whatever chord pattern you want. Then we're going to go to the G. Down, down, up, down, down, change. Down, down, up, down, down, change. Down, down, up, down, down, change. So that's a good way to practice that. I like to split up. I like to split up the chord progression. If it's a little more complicated, that's what I did when I first started. I've only been playing a couple years, but I try to give these little basic techniques as you know, a fairly new player to hopefully new. Well, obviously, if you're watching this video, you're probably a fairly new player because you're going to know all this stuff. Okay, so this is how I would do it. Down, down, up, down, down, change. Down, down, up, down, down, change. So just keep practicing that. If you're new, you can do it. Just keep at it five to ten minutes a day. But do these simple mechanics. The next part of the chord progression will go down, down, up, down, down, up, and then change. And then you go up, 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 down, up, down, up. Up, 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 down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Okay, so it's down, 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 up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up. Now, a cool little thing you can do is a stop or percussive effect. One thing I like to roll in at the end here is when we do this, we'll go down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that's kind of cool little stop. Put your uh, hand on there, stop the the music, and then do a down up. So it adds a little flavor to the, the chord progression. And these are all techniques you can put to any song. If you like a song, learn the chords, go to ultimateguitar.com or whatever, and you can pull up any song you want, do the chords. But you can do these strum patterns. There's hundreds of them. And I found as I layered more strum patterns as I progressed, it just opens your playing up and makes it more interesting to people. So again, let's roll it through a couple times slow. Play along with me. Down, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, 
So that was a little beginner lesson for you because I'm still kind of a new player myself, but I hopefully you can get something out of that. Keep practicing five to 10 minutes a day. You'll see progress. You'll get over those hurdles and uh, you can do it. Tim Gilbert. See ya.